I got about 100 people that I subscribe to on YouTube. All of them are really, really good content. They make lots of videos and I have no time to go over them. All of that unstructured data and hours of video, it's all there. I could really use it, but I can't access it. Until now, I want to show you a simple thing you can do with Notebook LM that allows you to take all of that unstructured data and turn it into something that can be valuable for yourself if you just want to learn something, or more importantly, if you want to be able to pull nuggets out of it that you can use in any of the educational content that you create, or in fact, be able to give your students or people that you're teaching access to the nuggets that you've pulled out. So how does this work? We're going to cover it right now. The tools that I'm going to be using today are, uh, in my case, my competitors or co-workers in my space, their YouTube channels. I'm going to show you a little tool called Instant Web Scraper that allows us to uh, take those YouTube videos and put them into Notebook easily. And then I'm going to show you a brand new feature in Notebook called Data Tables and some prompts to use to take all of that cool data and put it into something you can actually learn. So how does this work? Let's get started and I'll show you right now. Now, I'm betting that you're subscribing to a lot of channels. I would hope that you are. Mine, of course, uh, but there's other people you subscribe to. And if you aren't sure how many you've added over the last little while, take a look on the left hand side uh, of your channel here. And you're going to see, in my case, I've got all of these people that I've subscribed to. Uh, and there's tons of them and they're all about particular topics. Now, the thing that's interesting about this is that those people I subscribe to, it's not like they have one video. Some of them have like 100, 70, 100. Some of them have hundreds. Some of them have a thousand videos. It's got great content. So how do I pull or extract stuff from that that's valuable to me without watching all of the videos? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one here. And the one that I picked is a lady by the name of Tina. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'll just leave it at Tina. Her channel's here, and I'll put the link for you below. Um, and she's got some really great videos. She's got 300 videos that are here, a million subscribers, and she's all about AI and data and using the different tools to be able to extrapolate and pull stuff out. She used to be a face, uh, Facebook data scientist or analytics, uh, X, X meta data scientist is what she was. So she's got this great content. And the best part is these videos are here, but if I just go click playlists, they're broken or organized or curated into playlists about a particular topic, process, or approach that maybe I should learn about. Now, here's one here called AI Fundamentals. There's one here called AI Tools. But if I look at the Fundamentals one, I've got 12 videos that are here. Uh, and I've got some of them are 21 minutes long. Some of them are 30. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of them. And if I want to take a look at it, I just click it. And you're going to see that that's the wrong piece that I didn't want. So let's go back here. And let's look at our AI fundamentals one. It opens up the playlist. Most people over 40 and will enter 2026 right still side, using chat GPT like Google. We'll Don't be one of them. Ad. I learned how to do data analysis with There, on the right hand side is our playlist. So I have this big playlist, all of the great content about a topic. What's next? Well, there is a little tool called Instant Data Scraper. I'm sure that you can find other ones. This one is a Chrome extension. And what it does is you can basically tell it to scrape the links to the YouTube videos on her playlist so that you have a list of the 12 videos or 15 videos or however many videos are in the particular playlist that you're working on. Once you have that, here's what happens. You're going to go to Notebook LM and when you go to add sources, you can do websites and YouTube videos. All you have to do is paste the playlist in. And again, this can be a playlist. It can be playlists from multiple people. In my case, I'm allowed 300 sources. I think the free versions are 50 or 100 sources. And there's even more if you have, um, uh, if you have more expensive uh, Gemini accounts. But you paste them in. And when that happens, you're going to get on the left-hand side here. We'll just pull my screen up. I did add sources, added YouTube videos, and you can see that I just have a list of videos that I've added. And these are the ones from our playlist, and I added a couple other ones just while I was playing around. But I have those videos. I'm not watching them. The videos are in them as my sources. So that's fine, but what do I want to do with them? 
I can do some of the traditional stuff that I've talked about before in all of the other notebook videos that I've done about creating, um, you know, explainer videos and podcasts and mind maps and generating reports on all of these videos or an infographic, a single infographic or a slide deck. But I got a lot of content in here. I don't want just one static piece. I want to be able to pull or extract data that is pertinent to me about what I need to learn, where I need to learn it in the videos maybe, and how things are connected and it's personalized to me. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I've got my sources here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this brand new feature called Data Table. And the way that it works is you open up the pencil here and you can put a custom prompt right in here that applies or is grounded or only references the videos that are here. I didn't cut and paste transcripts in. Uh, I didn't do any of that. Notebook LM is taking care of that part. It knows what's in the videos. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to get the playlist with the data set that is unstructured. And in my case, I'm using videos because videos have a wealth of knowledge and it's just not organized for me. So I'm just gonna do this data table. I'm gonna put my instructions in and this is the kind of stuff I'm gonna get. So here's an example of one that I put together is, and we'll just see if I can minimize this. Uh, let's do the full screen one. There we go. Common myths and misconceptions about AI tools and skills. So the myth, scientific correlation, reason it's a myth, video reference, and the source where it came from. So here's the video that that came from. So there's a simple example of being able to pull data that is important to me from all of those videos and then also having the listing here up and down of where it actually came from. So I can go directly to that particular content. Up in the right hand corner, I can also export it to Sheets. I can show the prompt that I used and I'll do that right now so you can see it. In mine, it was identify any common myths or misconceptions the speakers mentioned in these videos, create a table with, and I provided the columns. So that's just one example. What about some other ones we can try? Well, I did one about, uh, here's one, we'll open this one, which is actionable AI practice exercises and homework assignments. The exercise name, so this one is pulling the exercises that the author or the video has suggested that we do. Which is the video that it's in? Where's the timestamp for it? What's the specific goal of the exercise? And what the source is? So another way of actually doing it, and I put together a whole bunch of them. Um, where's the one about uh, learning paths and future skills? So this particular one, just an example, this one was create a ta data table analyzing the learning path across these videos and a core uh, complexity level prerequisite knowledge and primary tutorial video. So instead of me watching, I'm asking it to tell me which should I take in order, whereabouts in the video, what do I need before I get to actually get to that point. And then I can go to the timestamp or whatever it happens to be and pull that out. So this is super easy to use. All you have to come up with is prompts. So I created a whole bunch and I'll give them to you. I'll put them in the links below. And of course, they're always available as is all of my content trainingsites.io forward slash join. That's my privately branded community where I put all of my videos, all of my educational content, everything is there for you. Along with, uh, I think we got seven or 8,000 other people who are interested in starting, building and growing their education business. So I'd love for you to get in, learn about what's going on. More importantly, ask some questions, share your experiences as we learn how to leverage all of this AI stuff in our communities. So what's this list that I put together and how does it work? I just said, from an education perspective, I asked uh, ChatGPT, I just said, hey, came up with some ideas for tables that would help me learn this material. You can come up with whatever prompt that you want. But here's some examples of ones that came up. The skill hierarchy table. Uh, use this to take those complex ideas to see the path ahead. That's one of the examples I showed you. Um, this one is to have multiple speakers or experts in your playlist who might have different methods or opinion. You have multiple playlists for this example from multiple experts. Actionable study guide, glossary and concept, the myth buster tables. So there's a whole bunch of ones that I came up with 
you can come up with any one that you want. So here's an example. Uh, let's do this one here, comparative expert one. So I'm going to copy this one. We'll go to Notebook LM, and I'm going to do the table again. So I'm just going to select table, data table here, do the pencil, and I'm going to put this one in. Now, here's the part that is kind of interesting. I have a couple other videos from other authors that I added to the sources, not just her playlist. So I'm just going to make sure the prompt is OK, get rid of the extra pieces that I put in, and like some quotation marks, and there we go. So create a table comparing the different viewpoints or methods mentioned in these videos. Include columns for specific topics, expert video names, core argument method, and unique analogy use. Again, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to click Generate. It's based on 17 sources that are here. And it's actually going to come up with the table that generates all of these. We'll wait for that to happen. Again, it's going through all of the data. And I'm also going to show you while this is working, there's a bunch of them here that I did that were outside of learning. It doesn't have to be learning. One of the ones that I looked at, which was kind of interesting here, um, it was about, in this case, um, use case analysis. Where were they using it, the use cases? Uh, one of it was about looking for uh, having um, uh, looking for affiliate opportunities or products that are mentioned throughout the videos. Um, so that one was there. Let's see. There we go. Comparison viewpoints. Let's open it up and see what we've got. So now we've got a particular topic, the expert that is mentioned in it, their argument, and the unique analogy used or source. So some of the other videos I added were some of the ones from Future Path. There's Jeff Sue. Uh, another one here, Notebook Mastery, put together. So these are just some examples of ways that you can highly leverage unstructured data and put it into a way that you want. And I've only asked for four or five tables, right? I can ask for more. It's up to me to figure out how I want to structure this data that was previously unstructured. And always remember, this is the cool part, always remember that when I'm doing this, this is from a YouTube video. This means that I can request the timestamp it gives me the video that it's from. I don't have to go through a thousand videos to pull out the nuggets or information that are important to me. And in fact, I can use it for things like comparing what my competitors or people who are in my same space are actually talking about, compare it to what I'm doing. So there's all sorts of ways that you can leverage this. And hopefully you'll start playing around and subscribing to people, but also their playlists to be able to use them in Notebook LM. Now, if you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've done in Notebook LM, there's a bunch of them. Go to trainingsites.io, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course, but go to trainingsites.io forward slash join uh, and uh, learn from all of the people that are having fun too as all of this AI stuff explodes as we start building and grow our own education businesses based on all of the stuff and experience that we've had over our business's career. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be right back.